Homework 5, problem 1. From the definition of capacitance, C equals Q over delta V, it follows an uncharged capacitor has a capacitance of zero. Hmm. An uncharged capacitor? No, okay. So first, intuitively, your spider sensor should be going off because capacitance is due to um, the capacitor. So you have the geometry of the capacitor. It probably has to do with what material the, the charge plates are made out of and the dielectric. So it doesn't matter how much charge is on a, oh, that's a terrible cue. It doesn't matter how much charge is on the plates, the capacitance is going to stay the same. So what they're saying here is that when the uncharged basically means Q goes to zero, they're saying that, well, that means that C has to equal zero. Um, no, not true. So it can also mean that V can also equal zero. So we can rewrite this as, yeah, I can make a better C than that, C V equals Q. So when Q equals zero, that means either C or V equals zero. Um, you can't tell from this case because Zero over zero is an indeterminate form, and therefore you can't uh, you can't just be like, oh, it's zero or infinity or one or whatever. Um, but from an intuitive point of view, um, if you have an uncharged capacitor, it basically means that there's no voltage between them, and that's possible. Capacitance is capacitor specific, and therefore it does not follow that an uncharged capacitor has a capacitance of zero. I'm going to say false. All right. Then we go on. As described by the definition of capacitance, the potential difference across an uncharged capacitor is zero. Described by the, the potential difference across an uncharged capacitor is zero. OK. So this is true. And we're going to, I'm going to do this from a logical point of view in life. So this is square number one. I'll make it black, but not a solid black, more just a, yeah, there we go. And then I will, nope, I'm going to copy this guy to make him into a parallel plate capacitor. Oop, even line him up. All right. So the definition of, mm, mm, the definition of a potential uh, voltage um, potential, potential energy difference, is taking a test charge from infinity and bringing it close to you. So it wants to know what the, diff what the potential between these two would be. So the idea here is, as described by the definition of capacitance, potential difference across an uncharged capacitor is zero. OK. So I drew all those charges for nothing. Sorry, charges. Time for you to die. All right. So there are no charges on here. There's actually charges, but they're equal amounts, so same as having. And so it's saying that the difference between taking a charged particle, I'm going to say plus, and bringing it over here, would be the same as taking a particle and moving it there. It doesn't matter where I move this particle, because since nothing is charged, there's nothing opposing it, so it's not going to take any more energy to move the particle here than to move the particle here. So yes, the potential difference across an uncharged capacitor is zero. So this guy right here will be true. Which is probably a mathematical way of looking at that. OK. If we look at this formula right here, CV equals Q. And we know that C in this case is capa uh, capacitance, which is um, unique to the capacitor. It doesn't matter about the charge or the voltage. So we're going to call that a constant. It's convenient that it's C. And so if Q equals 0, then V has to equal 0, because we know that C does not. All right? And that's all this problem is asking for. All right? Sounds good? All right. See you on the next problem.